Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back in a brand new video. And this time I want to be talking about the um, R1 ASL event, which was Ren Sport, which was run over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and yeah, I have to say, man, I was pretty impressed, man. Um, at first I thought, oh, I don't know if this, I don't know if this is really going to work. The game's only in beta and stuff, but you have to say they put on a very, very good event. Um, definitely worth the time. It was run over about seven and seven and a half hours on on the saturday and the sunday um i didn't manage to tune in for the majority of saturday i think i watched for about four and a half hours on the saturday um i watched pretty much the whole day on the sunday though um and yeah as i said i'm greatly impressed definitely very impressed with what they were able to bring to the table especially with a game that's still in beta stage still in alpha stages now i know there's probably a few complaints um Maybe the sound wasn't the greatest in terms of the, the car sound, the graphics, maybe not the greatest. But for me personally, I'm someone who is, I'm all about the racing, bro. Like, I feel like if the racing is very good, you can look past the graphics. Look at Project Cars for a lot of the time. You know, the graphics were not the greatest on Project Cars. The physics weren't the greatest. The sounds weren't the greatest. But when the competition was good, it was a, a fun game. And I get like sort of GT Sport Project Cars vibes off of Ren Sport at the moment. I don't know how it feels to actually drive it myself like in my hands but for me it looks as if it has that sort of vibe towards it and what i did take away from it is as you can see there's so much wheel to wheel action you can hold moves around the outside there's enough grip so you can make those moves sort of stick and <clears throat> you know i don't really i don't want to criticize acc or nothing like that but i do feel like this game has something that acc doesn't have and that is the ability to go wheel to wheel in the short format races where in ACC, I don't believe that is quite possible because, first of all, we don't really have the tire wear. Um, the tire wear is not an issue for a 13 lap race in ACC. So, you know, it's going to be pretty hard if you're racing against the fastest people. It's going to be pretty hard to get past in 13 laps while their tires are still fresh. You know, it's not going to happen. Um, the wheel to wheel door banging and stuff like that doesn't work on ACC. We know that the contact model is not the greatest. It does sort of spit you out. It's a lot more harsh. And I, I do feel like this is slightly more rewarding um, <clears throat> when you do make overtakes on ACC because it is slightly harder to do. But for this sort of event, esports events where everything's quick and fierce and, you know, you need stuff to happen in a short space of time, I do believe this is the correct direction to go. Um, and as I said, I was super happy with how the game performed. You know in wheel to wheel action the way you can hold moves around the outside the way there's grip offline so you can make these things um stick you can make these sort of moves stick that otherwise on most sim racing games you're probably going to struggle to get away with but you can see there were fights going on for corner after corner after corner and um <clears throat> that's just that's just what really to me really stood out man the racing was a massive positive also we have to look at the event as a whole and you have to say it was put together extremely well and i think so far this year you do have to say this has probably been the best thing that's come out of sim racing this year in terms of positive things for sim racing because sim racing suffered a little bit in 2023 but this was a very very well put together event over two days sort of like a, a call of duty event um <clears throat> it looked it looked very professional and there's just there wasn't really much you could say bad about it the only things i could say that i i didn't you know i didn't like maybe was the um silly things like the look of the porsche the porsche didn't look like the actual porsche that it should have been you know <clears throat> i'm not sure it looked like the 992 or whatever it, it, it just looks slightly off kind of like if you if you go back from p cars days when project cars never had the license for porsche so they had a car that looked like a porsche but it just wasn't a porsche it kind of feels like that with this game but you know, as I said, the racing is what was more important. You see guys going free wide. They're able to door bang. They're able to get really close to each other. And for the most part, no one had to die, you know, <laughs> like you were still able to, you know, get away with it. Um, and definitely, definitely was super impressed, man. And what I do hope for this game is I do hope that we do have a plethora of tracks, man. If we have a lot of tracks on Ren Sport. Yo, this game's gonna be the one. And I can already see for for esports drivers from different walks of life, from R Factor, iRacing, 
even if you're on GT Sport and you're thinking about getting a PC and you're, uh, you know, you're, you're an eSports driver, this, this might be the game that brings everybody together, man, because, you know, everyone's sort of stuck on their sims and if you're used to, if you're used to ACC, you probably don't want to jump on another sim with a driving techniques a little different, but with a new game coming out, if everyone jumps on it at the beginning, you might see all these names in one place. And this is like one of the first times we get to see all the names from all the games all in one place. And it was fun, man. There were so many talented drivers there. So many drivers. Um, I, I, I have to admit, I was, I was sort of favoring the ACC lot. I wanted Neil Stapleford, Shunaga, McCormack to do well because, you know, those are the guys who... You know, those are guys who you get to race now and again in ACC or if you're an AOR or whatever, you get to race these guys. You know how good they are. So, <clears throat> you know, I wanted them to do well. Um, but again, there was other guys that I've watched race for a long time ago, like Tim Jarshell. I watched him race on Race Room back in the day when I used to watch Jardia streams. And you thought then, oh, this kid's like 14, 15. He's going to be a beast when he gets older. And now you fast forward it like six years or whatever it is and you see the guy competing with all the biggest names in the scene. It's like, wow. Jesus, you, you knew that was going to happen, man. And it was just good to see that the competition, man, it was healthy. Um, I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone did anything deliberately dirty, I would say, um, throughout the weekend. Obviously, there were a few incidents, but for the most part, they were just going at it hammer and tongue, man. So it, it made it engrossing to the point where you couldn't afford to look away. I was in like, I was trying to go like in the kitchen and get food and stuff, but I'd keep coming back to the TV to like, What's happened? I'd keep coming back and, you know, like, I feel like, again, not to criticize ACC, but ACC is a endurance-based, long-form game. So, it's for me, ACC is more about the endurance races. So, a lot of the time with those races, you can leave for half an hour, 45 minutes, and you, you tend not to miss too much, okay? Unless someone makes a big mistake, um, you tend to, if, if something's set where someone has a lead of five six seconds you can come back in 10 minutes and to close a five second gap at the highest level in acc isn't even easy okay that takes time 10th after 10th after 10th whereas on this it looked like the slipstream was a little stronger um you could definitely dive bomb more and it's a little bit more um rugged so you can throw the car up the inside and make it stick you can throw the car around the outside and make it stick and um Again, it's something that is not really in the realm of ACC. ACC tends to be, you know, it's a lot more patient. You have to patiently wait to make these moves because it's hard. Um, and this game has sort of carved out its own own sector, what I would say. And it kind of reminds me of how it used to be, maybe like P-Cars 1, even though the contact model on P-Cars 1 wasn't great. But um, sort of P-Cars, Gran Turismo vibe, I'm sort of getting off of it. And... It worked. It definitely worked as a viewer, as someone who's consuming the, 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 the product and watching it. For me, it definitely worked. It had me interested. Um, as I said, I missed quite quite a lot. I missed a few hours on the Saturday, but I knew from what I did see on the Saturday that I was definitely coming back to watch it on Sunday. And you know, the biggest praise I can give to this is that Arsenal were playing on Saturday and um, I was watching both. I was watching the Arsenal match and I was watching this at the same time. Normally, if there was an endurance race on an ACC and Arsenal playing, I'll be back in 90 minutes, mate. I'm going to watch the match. But I had both my screens on and I was watching both, man. And it was it was it was very, very good. Very, very interesting. I like the format. Um The only thing I would have liked to have seen is not really a negative because it was probably time constraints. It was already a seven hour, seven hour stream in the first place or a seven hour event. But I would have liked to have seen like a team event. Because if you're a driver on one of the teams and you get knocked out um, in the first round, you've got to sit around for like six and a half hours, like seven hours. It's, it's a long time to just be sat there when you're already being knocked out. I'd like to see in a team event where all four drivers get to drive at once. So maybe like two cars each and then like a driver swap, pit stop, maybe a, a 20 lap race. Still kind of in the short form, um, but I think that would have been pretty cool. Maybe it's something they might bring in the future, like a 20 lap race, um, you've got four drivers, two cars each. Um, so two drivers in each car. And maybe maybe they do something like P cars where or like F1 where you have a, a soft tire and a hard tire and you have to run both compounds or something like that, man, I think would be pretty cool. But from what I could see, this is definitely going to get 
all the esports teams, it's, their, their ears are going to start pricking up because the competition, the way it was done, you know, the way how the event was held, this is going to be something in the future. I think you're going to see a lot of esports teams throw their best foot forward, man. And um, yeah, I mean, the teams that are involved, having phase in, in, in sim racing is insane. Um, I know they had um, Ian Porter, better known as Crim6. If you watch Call of Duty over the years, you'll know exactly who Crim6 is. Um, <clears throat> and, I mean, it's, it's hard getting thrown in the deep end against this level of competition. I would have thought they probably would have tried to build him up through, you know, just getting him on the game, giving him months and months and months to get used to it. Um, but didn't seem to be the um, didn't seem to be the case. Sorry, where was I? Someone just someone just knocked my door. <laughs> Jehovah Witness, bro. I'm telling you. But anyway, um, <clears throat> what I was saying was, um, I do believe a lot of esports teams are going to put their best foot forward for this game, um, and I hope they do have a lot of sort of in-game competitions for just the just the normal player to, you know. Yeah, sorry about that. Someone just knocked my door. I'm pretty sure it was like Jehovah Witness or something. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is um, going off of um, what Crim6 was able to do on this game where he was pretty much at the back struggling. And as I said, this is not... You can't get thrown into the deep end in sim racing against this sort of level of competition. It's not like Call of Duty. Call of Duty, you can learn to be good at COD if you have a couple of things. If you're good at centering already, if you're naturally got fast reactions and... If you're, you know, if you're an, an intelligent individual, you can get good at COD without being a Call of Duty player. You know, with sim racing, it's different. You know, it's definitely a completely different skill set. Most of these guys have been racing for ages. It takes time to get to this level. And it's not only that, it's also the consistency that you have to be able to perform. Now, what I would say about Crim6 is that if he was fast, um, he probably does have the mindset to be able to compete pretty easily because you know he's he's definitely he's a student of whatever, whatever game he plays he will study he will practice and he will grind probably like no other and that's what i will give to him but you know at this level man it's it's tough and for phase you know if you want to put your best foot forward man i i would probably you know i'd probably leave crim6 to get better at the craft this is not you don't want to be learning on the main stage bro because it's just gonna you know it's not gonna be kind of embarrassing for you at the same time you know and you know no one was expecting him to keep up with these guys but what's the point in just finishing the race 30 seconds behind everybody isn't it no point bro um if you don't know who crimson is it's, it's ian porter the guy who was driving for um phase um he's a i think he's the all-time most winning call of duty player you know he's won a lot of the call of duty majors um optic gaming literally he's done it all he's won those big sort of half a million prize prize pools and stuff like that he's won everything like that so in terms of winning there's probably no one here who's you know probably amounted to the financial success of crim6 but sim racing's a, a whole different ball game mate a whole different ball game but um it was it was to be honest it was good to see him try but <clears throat> let's let's be serious man let's let's um let's put our best foot forward put our best drivers in and try and get success that way but as I was saying, man, um, the racing was great. From what I could take from the, the cars, it sort of looked as if the Porsche and the Audi were a little bit more agile than the uh, the BMW and the Mercedes. Um, and I, I, I kind of felt like they were a tad bit better. Um, I felt like those cars were a tad bit better. Maybe if they had to use a track like Monza, maybe would have had different results. But I could kind of see by watching it that the Audi and the, the Porsche looked a little bit more lively to drive it had a little bit more rotation a little bit more agility 
And um, sometimes that's just what you want, man. You want a car that really turns in. Um, it did look, it looked as if, um, was it Kevin Siggy was struggling with the tyres on the BMW a little bit, which was pretty cool because the race was only 13 laps. So if you were having to manage tyres, that's definitely another aspect of the game that um, you can say we don't really currently have on PC or like ACC. You're not going to really ruin your tyres in 13 laps unless you try really hard to. Um, and that's why for me, the short format was working, man. I, it, I was impressed, man. I was definitely, definitely impressed. I thought there wasn't there wasn't really any negatives in terms of <clears throat> the actual on track battles. There wasn't really much negative. The only the only negatives I had was maybe like the I didn't think the car sounded quite right. But again, we're still in the early stages. We're still in the beta. And to be honest, we've been absolutely spoiled with the audio from ACC because on ACC, the cars sound insane. Okay, that is one thing you cannot take away from ACC. Graphically, visually, um, the attention to detail in ACC is, for me, unrivaled, okay? Unmatched. Nothing touches ACC when it comes to, to that. But um, do they miss the fun factor? I've, I've had this conversation before, like, whether a game is fun or not. <clears throat> and um, if, you're, if you're a purist, then ACC will always be fun. Okay, but in terms of, you know, the racing, what ACC is to me is ACC is a grind. Bro. You have to grind. You can't, if you play ACC and you don't play for two days, the next time you come on track, it feels like you didn't play. It feels like, oh, I've lost something. Because ACC is just a constant grind. You have to be grinding, grinding ACC, you know, and sometimes... You know, sometimes that ain't even fun. <laughs> I'll be real. Sometimes it ain't fun. But it's just the satisfaction you get when you've made a banging setup and you have a good race. And some a lot of the times in ACC, a good race for me doesn't even it's not it's not even about the battles. It's just about being able to do a a, a race, making no mistakes, you know, being able to run your whole your your pace for the whole race. That to me is a good race in ACC. Now, on Ren Sport, a good race seems to be when there's tons and tons of battles and stuff like that. And I think that's the main difference, man. Um, ACC, for, for me to have a good race, is literally just staying out of trouble. Because I believe the game is that difficult sometimes. You know? It's very, very technical. Um, but with this, it seems if you can just battle. I, I can imagine online lobbies, you know, if they were to, you know, if, if they were to have anything like sort of LFM on this game, if it had like a plethora of tracks and you could really race hard and the cars are very close. I'm telling you, man, um, although ACC graphically is a lot better, you will see a lot of people switch because the average person on ACC and not is not going to get up to speed to a certain level because you have to sort of have a certain amount of knowledge of the game. Right? To be a, a tier one driver in most leagues or whatever. You know, you have to have a certain amount of knowledge, man. A lot, most people don't just pick up ACC and go fast. It's, it's difficult. Um, this game, I would say, probably looks a little more straightforward. Now, I'm not sure if they were able to use custom setups or anything like that. But for me, the car balance looked closer. I do believe they did have a custom BOP. But um, for the tracks they did use, which I thought were the correct selection, um, Hockenheim, great track for racing. A lot of battles. Um, it did look as if the cars were quite close i know that obviously you had great drivers like josh rogers getting off in the distance but you know we've seen throughout time this guy is he's an extraterrestrial racer bro he's not human he's something else and but still in the final he was put under pressure by lorna so um it shows you that even the best you know were, were, were under pressure you know and um at all times the racing is close i like the fact you can sort of race nose to tail and I was definitely, you know, feeling the vibe of the game. Um, hopefully, hopefully we do get more information. I would love to know if they were able to run custom setups and stuff like that. But for, for the normal consumer, for the average player, average players, a lot of the time, they tend to follow what's happening in the esports scene. It happened on COD for years. You know, people would watch Call of Duty events and then they want to use the same loadout guns that were in that, that all the pros were using, you know, or they watch all the big streamers. I want to use what he's using. I'm going to copy him. 
And that's what, you know, that's what helps a game gain traction. I believe that with all this sort of action, people are going to want to be involved in races like this. People are going to want to be involved in leagues. And man, I can see it taking off and I can't wait for it. I don't know what the release date is. I hope they do bring a open beta pretty soon because um, I, I definitely feel like we're in need of something new. And this is definitely not to put down ACC because it's been a great game, but we've been on ACC f since 2018. And, you know, the, the, the one thing I've taken away from ACC, in my opinion, what they did wrong is that they took too long to address things and in four years have we had enough dlc when you can when you think of you know the scope that we could have had we could have had gt challenge asia we could have had gt challenge america with road america in it and stuff like that or gt challenge australia we, there was lots of different different aspects that we could have been expecting if they went all out you know um and obviously i'm not saying all these things are easy to achieve but bro like what acc could have done like with loads of tracks and stuff would have been insane bro would have been absolutely insane um but you know they've kind of left a space in the market and ren sport look as if they're gonna park their car right in there and i'm i'm here for it mate i'm ready for it um i do hope that the normal base game as well is gonna have lots of challenges lots of hot lap challenges lots of things that you can sign up for and do challenges sort of like what race room has race room has tons of sort of events for the average person if you're fast enough you can just sign up for and compete you know um i'd love to see that love to see that for for ren sport um and whether it will take over the market or not we shall see but i have to be honest man if it wasn't for probably probably low fuel motorsport Low Fuel Motorsport probably did a lot to save ACC, man. I'll be real. Um, Low Fuel Motorsport did tons for ACC because it sort of just, you know, sort of just changed the whole face of that game. I think without Low Fuel Motorsport right now, people had, people had already stopped doing competition servers and stuff like that. So um, Low Fuel Motorsport was a big reason to why ACC is so popular and still a lot of people's first choice. But... Um, yeah um now i do think it is the time for you know more competition we need it for sure um as i said it's very hard to survive on one game for 2018 and 20 almost four and a half years we've been on acc and in that time i don't feel like we've had enough new stuff enough dlc enough stuff that people really you know like switches stuff up you know what i mean um so that's why it's it's you know it's credit to acc that they've managed to do this with not a crazy amount of cars not a crazy amount of tracks but they kept people interested for four and a half years which is pretty insane you know um but there is a time where every game sort of has its ceiling and i feel like we're there now with acc man unless you know i do believe we are getting new content but it's you know what that content is going to bring we need tracks that is the thing we're always going to need is a lot of tracks man um but you know it is what it is as for ren sport um it was just good seeing the whole the whole organization the way they put together this event i like the fact that they, they were giving us information on the screen so we always knew we always felt like we knew what was going on right uh, we knew when someone had a penalty we knew when um when we was watching quality we could see all the times and you know what i mean it just looked like you know it looked like an event that you just didn't want to miss and um i feel like it, it was so well done and for a game that's an early beta, you have to say, you know, they, they kind of knocked it out of the park on the, on the first try. When you consider that what we've had with um, R Factor and the uh, Le Mans and Daytona events where they just went just to, to crap, really, because of all the controversy. Apart from a couple of spins and a couple of, you know, collisions here and there, there wasn't really much you could complain about on this game. Like In terms of the, the racing aspect, it was it was all good, man. It was all good. I like the fact you could be a little bit more physical with the curbs and you know what I mean? Like I I, I like that about this game. I do. And um it's gonna be interesting to see. Um once it does come out of um beta and stuff like that, the changes that they make. Um all these drivers here you'll see now five months time they'll probably be a lot quicker, you know. Um once every game sort of has its um 
it's nuanced to like driving style. Once you once people get onto the driving style that's needed to be really fast, you're gonna see these guys. I think they were doing 36 twos like the fastest laps. Trust me, six months time these guys will be in the mid 35s, man. It's just evolution of a sim racer and getting to know a game. But um, I, I'm hoping that a beta comes out very soon for the for the rest of us to play, and then we can you know we can start making content on the game, and I'm sure it'll be very good for content. But it was good to see all the racers from all different platforms getting together and throwing it down in one place obviously josh rogers was insane man guy is a joke the guy is literally a joke man but um yeah it was it was good man it was a good watch anyway guys tell me what you think about ren sport tell me what you think about the whole event in the comments what you'd like to see in the future from the game and what do you think this means for other games in the um in the sim racing community anyway it's crypto tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace